I noticed that, that you've been gambling a little bit, Jody. I have. With what? Well, some sports betting stuff. You're in the Calcutta. You, uh, you, you wagered on, uh, what was that, Christmas Day? Yeah, you made some bets yeah. on Christmas Day. Yeah, but I don't actually do anything. Who, who do you like this week? I, I don't even know who's playing. I don't know who my teams are. I don't know anything. So who you don't actually, I don't know if you know this, but if you want to know who she likes, you have to tune in to Fade the Mahoney podcast <laughs> on Friday. My life is promoting Fade the Mahoney podcast. I get at least 10 messages a day of instructions of how to promote the number one podcast in all of the world, Fade the Mahoney. Why do you have to promote it if it's the number one podcast? Um, I don't know. They're just, <laughs> I haven't asked that question, but I guess there are a couple people who don't know about it yet. But that's, that's honestly, all, everything I've said in the last uh, whatever hour has been bullshit. My whole purpose in life is to promote Fade the Mahoney podcast. It's a sports betting podcast. That's it. That's my whole purpose in life. Sounds good. Nice. Uh, good morning, everybody. Welcome to Saturday morning. Um, yeah, we're all good. Uh, Fade the Mahoney NFL playoff preview edition. We've got our normal uh, NFL DGENs here. We've got uh, Trevor Savage. Uh, we're going to have a lot of disappointed viewers, Trevor, with the shirt and everything, but I guess it is what it is. Um, the shirt list was a big hit. That's what I'm saying. And uh, over here, we've got the Edonk. Say hello, Edonk. Um, business is picking up, as they say, in uh, the wrestling industry. Can you lean back just a little bit? Yeah. 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 My resolute, yeah, my screen isn't wide enough to catch both nipples, but I appreciate the effort. Um, <clears throat> uh, hey, Mike Trout, stick around to the end, buddy. Um, <clears throat> Is it going back on? I'm going to put it back on. It's a little cold in here because it's 21 degrees here as opposed to the uh, beautiful Dominican Republic weather that I just came from. Yeah. You guys just got back, right? Last night or something like that? Yeah, we got in last night. Uh, I'm sure the world would like to uh, thank your better half for um, sharing all the social media pictures of uh, poker rags. So it's very Yeah, shout out to uh, Jody's hat from pokerrags.us, which has... Uh, allowed the world to see the uh the assets that she possesses mm -hmm. pokerrags.us that's what it was all about um <clears throat> i would like to give a couple shout outs real quick uh one uh to our guy maradona uh super generous dude he actually spent uh uh some time on the phone with uh uh miss dawn to help her through this whole COVID thing that we're going through so shout out maradona and also shout out Riddy. Edonk, Riddy tried to window me. We had a uh, we had a side bet on. Um, I set an over under for him for um, Mike McCarthy getting fired. I set it at noon on uh, Friday, and um, several hours before he told me I could take it to the window. So nice try. It didn't work. We won. Um, so, well, did he get fired? No. He took the under noon on uh, Friday. That was that was what I set the over under. Can you? Can oh, you I, th I thought you were on the. I thought you were on the side of him getting fired. Oh, I told him I liked his side, but I'm not going to turn down the action. He wanted he wanted me to set a line. Edoc, you need to connect to your better internet. You're like a robot talking. Well, the problem is that he's is currently somewhere out in the solar system, so it's got to be hard to get good Wi-Fi there. Yeah, the internet isn't so great in the stratosphere. Edonk, other get on to your other Wi-Fi. This one sucks balls. <coughs> um, uh, before we get to the picks, a uh, quick recap. Uh, uh, Trevor, I'm sure you're aware, you're up 2K on uh, Edonk from last week. You guys split the first four, but then uh, you went 2-0 to finish the week. Thankfully, Edonk loved both the Patriots as an 11 star play and a five star play on the money line. So that was good on the hip. The big problem was that he sent the money to me in Maddox. So now I am only up 500. <laughs> RIP crypto, right? <clears throat> um, he finished it off. You guys could have, you guys could have uh, uh, still split, but he had the Cardinals on Monday night. And again, that one just missed. Um, I wanted to cover real quick. A couple of um, headlines from the NFL. I can just pull these up. The first one, which I found hilarious, 
the top headline on ESPN.com. Trevor, I'm not sure if you saw this. NFL halts COVID testing for unvaccinated players. Yeah, I saw that it, uh, COVID got a buy for the playoffs, correct? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the playoffs. This is serious shit. It doesn't matter anymore. There are obviously, this will be called the Aaron Rodgers rule, right? They're just, they're not interested. Didn't I? Didn't I, didn't I talk about this last time? Is I just said they were just gonna move the goalposts, or just like just too much money on it? Yeah, they're, yeah. They, I think they said they're gonna test people who report that they have symptoms. So, uh, if Aaron Rodgers walks in and says, "Guys, I'm feeling sick," I guess they'll test him. But if he doesn't do that, no one's getting tested. So, uh, that was the Edonk's best prediction of the season. Oh, yeah, that was good. That was an 11 star play, Edonk. Yeah, there's one thing I do know is, uh, you know, the shadiness of, uh, of the American uh, high-powered businesses. It's yep. all a fucking scam. It's all about money. Get that money. Uh, other headline? Get that shut up, yo. Other headline, uh, did, were you guys aware that Bruce Arians got fined $50,000? for uh swiping and swiping at one of his players they captured it during the game you guys see that yes uh coincidentally did you see the lebron james tweet about it didn't catch that one i've got it right here young fella what kind of steroids are you on that you could take a blow like that and not fly 30 yards any chance you get when a 65-year-old man hits you in the helmet with an open hand, you have to fall down, even if it makes you look like a bitch and it embarrasses your entire family. That was uh, LeBron's tweet on uh, the NFL game. Um, let's do some picking, huh? And then we have some announcements. Trevor, call it in the air. Sounds good. Tails. Oh, tails again. Good job. You get to go first. Sweet. <clears throat> first game today we've got the titans and the Bengals. uh titans are home that's up to four money is coming in on the titans what do you got i uh i in these situations i always have to go with the team that i want to root for mm. right and it just I, so i was gonna say i want to root for the Bengals, but i just also remembered that i have the titans in the calcutta so I got to go with the Titans. Okay. Sounds good. Again, you're up 2K right now. We got four That's games. That's wonderful. wonderful to hear. Uh, Burbs is also on the Titans, so mm. couldn't be more happy to have you take the Titans. So you're feeling good. How did that switch? I over? also like the Titans. Mm. I also like the Titans before – Burbs put it in this morning and before this conversation. So now you're feeling really good. How about the finding the good internet? Have you been able to do that yet? I actually switched over halfway. It still sucks. We have about, uh, we don't have COVID here in, uh, in, in West Dundee, Illinois. We have about uh, 1,700 people in our building this morning. And probably half these assholes are probably stealing my uh, Wi-Fi. So. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. So All it right. looks like your Wi-Fi has COVID. Yeah. Yep. Yep. You don't have a button where you can turn it off for all of them? Hear them all scream at the same time? That would be pretty cool. All right. Uh, Edonk, you get the big game tonight between the Packers and the Niners. Packers, that's down to five and a half as injury news is coming out that the Niners are supposed to have everybody back. Green Bay, five and a half. What do you got? I'm taking this one, yeah. We're gonna take uh, we're gonna take the uh, Packers of Green Bay this evening. Okay. We're gonna lay the points. Rodgers is locked. I don't really care who they're playing. They're gonna win the Super Bowl. Uh, they are going to blow out the Niners. Okay. In a route. In a route. And, and it's going to be and it's going to be going over. And this is a fade the Mahoney special. Burbs 
loves the under. Yeah, I got you. I got you. So we are going over. Okay, that's a five stars. That's a bonus play on the over after taking Green Bay. Um, this gives me a really good chance to plug the Wednesday episode we did with Irie Guy. That episode was great. Everybody should watch it. Everybody should share it with 20 friends. Uh, we talked a little bit about the Packers in that. That's what reminded me of it. Um, I like the Packers. Uh, my daughter has a soccer game at 10 o'clock tonight. 10 o'clock? Is that not the most ridiculous thing? 10 p.m.? Yeah. Soccer? Yeah. So right about as the fourth quarter is getting good, I would have to get in the car and leave. <clears throat> Kind okay. of scheduling is that? <laughs> do you have a? Uh, do you have YouTube TV? No, I have the Hulu. You can get it on your phone. I know, I know, but it's probably best not to do that one. Good. All right, uh, Trevor. I'm next, next, at crypto. How much money? I lost. It's fucking gross. Next game Good. tomorrow, Trevor. Rams and Bucks. The Bucks are back down to two and a half. I don't get it. Bucks at home, two o'clock central time tomorrow. What do you got? I mean, it's the same thing here. I got the Bucks in the Calcutta. You got to take the Bucks. Got to ride with Brady. I can't believe the line's two and a half. That's a little scary. Uh, but yeah, I mean, what are you going to do? You got to you got to ride with the Bucks. I'm with you there. All right, last game: E Dog Bills and Chiefs. This is like the marquee matchup. Chiefs at home. They still have Patrick Mahomes, right? They're at home and they're favored by only one and a half. What do you got? I think all the college kids are going to be on uh, on the Chiefs this weekend. I think they're all going to be on the Chiefs this weekend. So we're going to take the Bills. Um, I'm excited for this game. I think they're all going to also take the over. And uh, I think we're going to go with them on that one. We're going to take the over. <laughs> we're going to take the Bills. We're going to go with Joe Public on the over. Okay. All right. So a couple of bonus picks out of the e doc on the late games over on both of them. Um, hey, shout out Kingmaker. I know uh, I listen to Raising the Nuts two times every week. Uh, everybody else should, but uh, Kingmaker Chad, Mc, uh, Matt, Chad McQueen is very generous in uh, tweeting out that people should listen to it every time it drops. He does the same thing with Fade the Mahoney. So shout out Kingmaker. Thank you very much. Um, I've got a, a, a little scheduling I'm going to share with everybody. Um, Mike Trout, it's right up your uh, alley, buddy. All right. So uh, on Monday, Enoch and I will recap uh, what's gone on on the weekend. Uh, our middle of the week uh, special guest interview episode is going to be uh, a member of the World Series of Poker Hall of Fame. Uh, a lady by the name of Maria Ho is going to join the show and pick the uh, conference championship games. Ask me how I got someone like Maria Ho on the show. Piece of shit out of me. But uh, we've got her. Uh, the following week, uh, for those of you who watched um, uh, the Irie Guy episode, uh, he put me in contact uh, with a gentleman uh, goes by the name Jag. I think I got that right, who uh, wrote the round, original rounder script and has since wrote a uh, book about the lawsuit and everything around it. He's coming on. We're going to talk about the book. He actually sent me a Word document with the, uh, um, the transcript of the book. So even though I ordered it uh, on Amazon to support him, he sent me like a pre-copy. So uh, I'm going to read that beforehand. I'm going to talk to him. Uh, additionally, no one could crack the code from the preview episode, uh, but uh, uh, we've got DGAF who's going to come back on and uh, do Super Bowl props before the Super Bowl. And lastly, uh, a gentleman by the name of David Baker, who won the Super Contest or Circa Millions last year. He's going to come on before the Super Bowl and uh, do some handicapping as well. So that's a nice little run for the next couple of weeks. Uh, I'm really hopeful everybody who's watching this 
uh, likes what they see and can share it with some people. Um, Mike Trout says we get way better guests than we deserve. And I agree with that. But we also don't get as many views as I think we deserve. So if you guys could share, I'd appreciate it. I assume at some point, Edonk and I will get bumped off the show and you'll just go to the stratosphere where Edonk currently is. God willing. You know, as, as soon as the money starts flowing in, I fully expect to be off the show. Uh, yes. the, le- yes. the lead weights that you guys represent, you know, they are what they are. I, I, I do want to point out, I don't know if you see, if you've seen what's been going on in the NBA. Do you remember my MVP prediction at the beginning of the season? I don't, but I, I assume it's Joel, Joel Embiid. That's right. Uh, M- MVP, if oh. you will. Nice. He's up to, uh, I believe last I checked, he was something like plus 900 or plus 800. Uh, and I, th- I think at the beginning of the season, it was like much higher than that. So I think it's doing pretty well. I did read a headline, something about he had like 50 points in a half or something like that. Is that what happened? He, he scored 50 points in 27 minutes on Wednesday. He scored 40 points last night uh, in a very disappointing loss after being up by 24 to the Clippers. Hmm. I have him here, uh, not sponsored by DraftKings. We haven't done that a little bit in a while. Uh, he is the fourth favorite. He's down to six to one. Six to one. Okay, yeah, that's, and and that's that's a that's ridiculous that that, that he's the fourth favorite. I mean, he's he's definitely uh, been huge this year. He's he's been incredible. You he's believe- an, on an unbelievable stretch right now. Who who should he be ahead of? Curry, Antetokounmpo, or Jokic? Jokic, Jokic. Who should he be ahead of? <clears throat> uh into the kumpo fuck him hmm. strong take um <clears throat> i have a, i have a few things uh one that uh this today is the 16th uh anniversary of uh kobe dropping 81 on the raptors hmm. that is fucking impressive he is the second best player of all time in my book um, and he's not second to LeBron. All right. Uh, I also have another uh, tweet that I found yesterday that I sent Michael. Uh, let me find this one. Louis Anderson, who uh, tragically passed away uh, maybe yesterday morning, I think. Uh, Louis Anderson once blew 80 grand, all of his money, gambling in LA, then rented a car, drove to Vegas in the middle of the night, and used the casino line of credit to win back all the money in the pits by sunup. Mm-hmm. He caught a 7 a.m. flight and went straight to a 7-Eleven commercial shoot. Fucking legend. Yeah. What That's do we great. say about chasing? If you got to chase... Even if you have to leave the state, mm-hmm. fuck it, Chase. If you can only get the line of credit in a different state, you got to do it. So, uh, all right, yeah. Kobe, RIP Kobe, RIP uh, Louis Anderson, and also for some of us old guys, uh, Meatloaf, RIP Meatloaf. Youngsters out there. No, no. Oh, I did, I did catch a, a funny little, uh, maybe it's not, yeah, it is funny, actually. Dark, dark <laughs> humor. Uh, there was a uh, uh, yesterday morning prior to the news breaking of Meatloaf passing away, uh, Weber Grill decided to put out a recipe of the day for grilled meatloaf. Uh, so uh, ironically, they did not see that Meatloaf passed away, um, but they, they shared the recipe of grilled meatloaf anyway. So I thought that was fucking excellent. Yes, the the symbolism. It made me laugh really hard. Yeah. Yes, kind, yeah. kind of makes and you want to go buy a Weber grill. Up, yeah, <laughs> they had to put put out an apology email afterwards for the insensitivity, I guess, because I'm sure they just heard from it from the all the LPs. <laughs> Shout out LPs, <laughs> uh, uh, <clears throat> youngsters. If you're not familiar with the song "Paradise" by the Dashboard Light, it's a uh, it's a whirlwind. It's an amazing song. All right. That's all I have. You guys got anything else? I dropped some quick alpha for those out there who are hurting in the crypto streets. Buy the world token. Wow. WRLD. 
We are now shilling coins. World token. How many Uniswap. of those? What'd you say? You have to buy it on Uniswap. Uniswap. Edon, how many of world tokens do you currently own? I don't know, but I'm going to go fucking get some right now. Well, no shit. Trevor <laughs> Smart, actually. Yeah. He doesn't know shit about football, but fucking, I, I'm going to go buy football. All right. We, we all miss uh, Jody not being able to join us today. But again, uh, thanks for all the poker rag, rags ads over the past several days. We're glad you made it back, Trevor. Thank you both for joining. Uh, murderer's row of guests coming up over the next couple of weeks. And I'm working on some other stuff. And uh, we'll report back when we have it. Uh, good gambling this weekend. Spec Brad, shout out. Let's hit one of those today, buddy. Yeah, there they are. Ooh, they're like, like this. <laughs> All right. Bye, everybody. Good gambling.